Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a house plant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. In today's video, I'm going to be propagating and sharing you the care tips of the Hoya Bella. This is a really, really beautiful Hoya. It's pretty easy to care for and it's endemic here in Indonesia. It actually originates from a lot of the Southeast Asian countries and continents and islands from Southern China all the way to Australia. It's from the tropical rainforest. And it's one of the Hoyas that actually don't want to be dried out in between watering, which is really interesting. So the way that you would care for this is to give it medium to bright indirect light. I don't think they appreciate too bright of a light, although they do come variegated, which is interesting. Usually variegated plants can take a little bit more light than the green counterparts, but I haven't really seen those around. That's extremely rare. The way that you would water it is to never let it dry out completely. They do like something a little bit more fast draining. That's why I have here my general purpose potting mix with cocoa peat, perlite, burnt rice hull, and worm casting. So this is not going to be compact and soggy wet, but if you let this dry out too much, the leaves will just start wrinkling, it will crisp up, and it will fall off. Originally, I had cared for this plant the same way as my other Hoyas, which is to let them dry out a bit, to treat them a bit like a succulent, and that plant did not make it. So this is actually propagated from that one plant. They are pretty fast grower and they're very easy to propagate. And yeah, in terms of pests, I have a feeling that mealybugs would love them because this is a Hoya. I do see one here, I see a mealybug. <laughs> but not that many, usually they come in great numbers. But I have outdoor predatory insects that feed on my pests, so I'm not really that worried. And they do flower, by the way. Their flowers smell a little bit like honey, apparently, but I have never had mine flower yet. So if you know the conditions that will give me flowers, do let me know in the comment down below. The word Bella in Hoya Bella actually means beautiful. So this is actually a really, really pretty plant. I'm going to show you a close-up of what this looks like. Here's a close-up of that beauty. It's branched out over here. This is so wild. I guess that they can always branch out quite a bit and I know that they do branch out from down below here but I really love the shape of the leaves. I actually have seen a lot of plastic plants that are shaped like this so I'm sure they were probably molded after this plant, modeled after this plant I mean. Very very beautiful. This is very symmetrical and just I don't know how to say it trails really beautifully and imagine if a huge pot of this and when it's time to bloom everybody's just blooming at the same time so that's amazing I really love the look on these as you can see here there are already some aerial roots forming over here so they actually root anywhere along the stem and then they will put out the new branch from in between the nodes right there so I'm gonna be propagating it using two node cutting but I'm also going to try the one node cutting which is a little bit more of a daredevil way to propagate but yeah I'm gonna obviously be doing it many many ways hey Josie and then we will see an update on those so welcome to our propagation table and we're going to be chopping this up to many many pots I don't think I have enough of these actually this is a cute tray that I got and I filled it in with general purpose potting mix and I did not compact the potting mix I just kind of gently put the potting mix in here do not press it down because it will get too soggy for the plant killing it so i'm going to be propagating it many ways and one of the ways i'm going to do it is so i'm going to just take from the lower vine here all the way down i'm very very greedy it's going to branch out where you make the cut so don't don't panic don't be afraid it's going to recover some people say do not take off that many plant but i do and I've never really had any problems with it, so there you go. Very nice haircut, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, so how do we even begin? Let me see. I'm gonna do... This is the top cutting, so the top cutting is usually one that is the most prized. So I'm going to take two nodes like this, and then I'm just gonna stick it in the potting mix. So I'm gonna put, let me see, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna just put it in like that. Let's not lose track of which way up things are. Oh my god, hang on, I which, which way up is this? I can't remember. Um, yeah, I'm gonna rewind the footage to see which, which side up this is. Okay, so apparently it's this way up, so just be careful when you're propagating your plant. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do single node cuttings, where I'm just gonna take that. So the root is going to appear somewhere 
from below here and then the new growth would appear somewhere in the along the node so I'm gonna just stick that in here there how cute look at that huh <laughs> so I'm gonna do each pot with one single node and one double node let me repeat that again this is the two node cutting it looks like this I can either take the two lower leaves off or I can just fold it up and tuck it into the potting mix. The leaves may roll off anyways. If it gets too soggy wet, these leaves may <gasps> yellow up and fall off. But, you know, and then I'm going to do one node cutting. Kind of like that. Just kind of <laughs> lift the arms up and just stick it in. So I'm going to finish the rest of the pot here before I move on to others. Okay, so I've done these. I ended up with two full trays of them. And actually, let me show you the other way that I'm going to do it. This is actually the result of a previous propagation. And this is grown in. Sorry, it's so wet. It just rained. It's coconut husk. It's so black and it looks kind of gross. This is actually a really cool way to grow Hoyas and Dishkidias and I really love this method. But basically, you just take a lot of different coconut husks, as you can see here. And you kind of find ones that would fit. You jam it together and you put it in a pot like this. So I'm going to do that with this plant here. Just take a few top cuttings and then I will stick that in between the coconut chips and just kind of water it. I would water it lightly every day. So the coconut chip is actually very airy. It doesn't really hold on to moisture that much. But keep in mind, Hoya Bellas don't like to be dried out completely. So do not let them get too dry. Let me get more cuttings. You know, I'm going to take this one. One more over here. So I'm going to do three. Three in one pot. Okay. Nice. Yeah, and just water this. <laughs> That's done. I sometimes do a little bit of sphagnum moss. This pot looks like it's about to bust. And it's so tight in there. Are you guys okay in there? Can you guys breathe? Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of moss as well. And the moss will also help it retain a little bit more water. Make sure it doesn't lose too much water too quickly. Let's see how these guys do. I should have propagated more this way. This is actually my preferred way, but I'm running out of this coconut husk. So I'm not going to do that. And finally, I'm going to take a few cuttings. <laughs> this one is eaten up by caterpillars or grasshoppers or whatever. So I'm going to propagate them in water. This is a perfect chance to propagate. So I'm going to take Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not going to keep these balding ones. I'm just going to take these off. I'm going to propagate this stick here. It's actually pretty, sorry. It's actually pretty generous to propagate. It's a long stick. As you can see, there's an aerial root here. How cute. And then let me take, oh my, I'm going to take a single node because you can also propagate using single node cuttings like this. And this one. And this one. I go hard when I prune my plants. They really enjoy being pruned, by the way, so they will become bushier and bigger plants. So I'm going to be propagating these cuttings in water. I want to give them a shallow water vessel, bright indirect light, and I'll update you guys on how all of these babies are doing. So I'll see you in a few months. Bye! It's been exactly one month from the propagation date, I lost a leaf here. So this is the one that is propagated in water. Let me check them out. Yep, everybody's rooted. Oh my goodness. I'm so clumsy today. Uh, yeah, so they all rooted really well. This is actually very ready for soil, for transfer into soil medium. Very, very happy with this. Okay, I'm gonna deal with that later. And this is the other one. Keep in mind, I give them very bright light. They do need very bright light and a small vessel to put out roots. And that's pretty as well. Look at those roots. This is doing well. And then, yeah, I'm going to pot these up right away, right after this, into my general purpose potting mix. For the other cuttings, I actually left them up here on a shelf. It's actually very high up. I have to like reach really high to get to them. This is getting bright indirect light. That is shade to prevent direct sunlight from burning the leaves. That's how many. And I do water every, I don't know, like three to four days. You can see here this uh, condensation. That means that this is well watered. It doesn't need watering. Usually when the condensation reduces to almost nothing, then that's when I would water it. Look at the roots. It's already showing up here. Very cute. So let's see how many of them survive. Hang on, let me take them down. 
Okay, so this is everybody. I guess I lost something. I, this may have some mist watering, I guess, because you can see the soil is so dry. And I think the leaf was probably blown away, it was dried off. Some of them have dried leaves like this. Let me remove them now. I remember putting two cuttings in each of these. So let me quickly look. Let me give you a top view, actually. So we lost some. That's. I don't know, should I do a count? Hang on, I'm gonna count for you. One, two, three. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I count, there's two cuttings in here, so I counted them as two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 29, 30, I actually saw that more than, hang on, okay, I'm just finishing, finish counting. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So I ended up with 39 vines and some of them that were in water propagation. Let me check out some of these as well. Yeah, as you can see, there are roots happening here. This is so cute. I love these plastic uh, pots that are so tiny, they're perfect for propagation and you can also see the roots. All right, so I just decided right at this moment to just end this video here because I have so many other species to film. And as you can see, these propagates, both this one and the ones that were on the shelf over there, everybody did well. This is an easy plant to propagate. And look at those baby vines that are going to showing up from the node. Look at that. That is so cute. And they actually take to soil transfer pretty easily, this species, because I've propagated so many, them so many times before. So they're actually very fast to propagate. Takes one month to root, takes one month to put out baby shoots. The ones in soil is faster, if, if I may say. They put out baby leaves a lot faster than these guys. So I highly recommend for you to propagate this in soil, but if you're not confident with moisture control on soil propagation, then water propagation would be the safer way to go. Or you can just do both <laughs> and learn how to propagate them many ways. Because actually, a lot of Hoyas propagate the same way as these. I hope that you guys are staying safe. I'm at Botanist on Instagram. If you want to DM me on any questions regarding plant care and propagation, I'll try my best to get back to you. Meanwhile, do take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next video. Bye.